What's up guys, it's the Notorious Nomad, and I know it's been a long time since my last video, but I'm really excited to be getting back into it, and I thought Assassin's Creed Origins is a really good game to do that for. I've loved the Assassin's Creed series, I've played all of them, and I was just really excited for this one. Egypt, massive open world, they're changing a lot up, so I thought this would be a good place to resume making videos, and I hope to continue making them regularly up to the holidays. I will be making a video of some basic tips for Assassin's Creed, um, stuff that I didn't even know until my second playthrough. Um, just some stuff that is good for general play, but people don't really know it because the game never really tells you aside from maybe little hints and tip screens or just what you find out from your own exploration. So we'll be making a video like that, but right now I'm going to be focusing on the end game content. And there's a lot of end game content in Assassin's Creed, and I'm really excited about some of it. This video is focused on the War Elephants. Defeating both of the War Elephants in this game gets you the Shaman Legendary Outfit. And these War Elephants are both level 40. They're the hardest enemies in the game. And it takes a, it takes a little bit of technique and patience to defeat them, which is why I thought it was a good place to start my videos. I would not recommend trying to beat these war elephants before level 38. Um, it's probably easier if you do it at 40, but I was able to do it at 38, and you can see my equipment's not that good. I'm waiting till level 40 before I spend a lot of money upgrading my equipment. I've got a sword that I like to use. Um, because of mainly the power attack, I like how it charges over a long distance, um, and you can, you can close a lot of distance in a short amount of time. So that's why I use the sword. Um, I have that axe there, but I never use it. My shield's not great either. It's level 26. All my equipment is legendary, so I do recommend having legendary equipment. I mean, uh, definitely if you're level 38, you have plenty of legendary equipment. So I'd obviously recommend outfitting yourself with that. But the most important things, I think, I liked using the sword and the shield, and then the next important thing is the bows and I didn't really use the hunter bows in these battles but the light bow was the most important piece of equipment for me so you can see I have the composite bow and this is another reason I don't recommend fighting the elephants before level 38 I played on normal and they were tough battles um, at level 38 and going earlier I think would make it difficult I think four levels earlier makes it basically impossible because they'll have the um, I think they have that skull icon above them, and you do like no damage no matter what for some reason. But anyway, the composite bow is the most important piece of equipment I have on right now. And the reason that is, is because of the health on hit, which is just crazy important for boss battles. It's, n it's not really my favorite weapon in general. I don't use it a lot fighting regular enemies. But for these boss battles, it's super important because it allows you to heal past your general regeneration so for example if you get knocked down to the second health bar you can regenerate up to the top of that just throughout the battle but if you're using this composite bow you can get back up into your third bar and then you're able to regenerate that bar just through passive regeneration so that's very helpful and it allows you to last in these longer battles when you're fighting an enemy with a ton of health and you don't have nearly as much so this bow is absolutely awesome for boss battles and just keeping your health up. That high rate of fire and that health on hit are amazing. I don't like using light bows in general, but I found that using this bow, this particular light bow for a boss battle is incredibly helpful. You can get this bow by killing the Philakatai named Halfhorn. And he's a level 38 Philakatai, which is why he drops a level 38 bow and he roams the top right corner of the map similar in a similar location to where you're actually going to fight this elephant but a little south of there so just look for him on the mini map and you'll be able to find him and take him out he just uses a bow he's pretty easy to kill and then once you do that you can go ahead and start these boss battles the most important tip that i can give you for fighting these elephants is staying close you've got your bow so that can help you last longer in the fight but the elephants can do massive damage with just one hit and it may seem like you want to stay farther away 
but when you do that it just means you're going to have to try to dodge more of those charges and if you stay close you can do a lot of damage by hitting him from behind and he doesn't get to do those charges so you can see the elephant's like swinging around there but i'm staying like relatively close to him and he does a little charge there and when he charges you want to go ahead and jump to the side that his head is not on so if you jump if you dodge towards the side that his head is on you're gonna get hit almost all the time but if you dodge the other side you're not gonna have any problems sometimes it's unavoidable and you've just gotta dodge and hope that you can get out of the way but you kind of want to dodge to the other side of the head and towards a little bit so right there you can see I was on the wrong side but I dodged a little bit and I was able to not take any damage I don't, still don't know how that worked he must have just hit my shield or something or just with the edge of his tusk but you can see just when you if I was a little bit closer I would have gotten hurt a lot and right there I dodged right and then I was able to get behind him and do a lot of damage and you can see I'm just staying close and his foot stomps do do some damage, but they're not that much, so you don't have to worry about him too much. If you see him getting ready to stomp his foot, just back up a little bit, shoot him with the bow. If he does hit you, go ahead and shoot him with the bow anyway, you generate a little bit of that health. Um, and then you can just continue. So I'm staying close here. When you are dodging the charges, so you're dodging on the opposite side of the head and you're dodging towards him a little bit but make sure your dodge is wide enough that you don't hit his leg because if you do hit his leg it's going to do this weird thing where you just get stuck on him and he can hit you once and i've been hit like twice one day and, uh, i did have to try to kill this guy a couple times try different strategies and i actually i mean the first time i was there, trying to attack him i didn't use the light bow and that's why I say it's so important because once I was using this light bow, I was able to do, I was able to beat him. So, and it made it just so much easier. You can see I'm still even now. He's at half health, and I'm right up there, or a third health, and I'm right up there at like almost full health. And I lost a bunch of health there again, and then I just healed it right back up with the light bow. So once he gets down um, to pretty low health, he'll start behaving a little more aggressively. Um, and he just does like a double head swing and stuff. And sometimes do it multiple times. Like you see there, he does three in a row. So you just gotta be vigilant and make sure you're paying attention to actually what he's doing. And you're not just kind of like falling into the rhythm of it. So... There you go. Even when he's being this aggressive, I'm just staying close. Um, but I wasn't ready for him to become aggressive, so I kind of lost a lot of health there. I was just like in the rhythm, um, and I wasn't thinking he was going to change his pattern up. So if you're ready for that and you know to expect that, you can just be a little more patient and just kind of watch what he's doing, and that way you can adjust your strategy. You can see again the light bow i was close to dead and then i was able to heal back up to that second bar and he gets stuck in that fence for whatever reason and i'm able to finish him off really easily um but you can go ahead and i mean obviously if you just are patient and you watch it you'll be able to defeat him even if he doesn't get stuck in the fence so Moving on to the second elephant in the White Desert Oasis. And I just showed you the location there. I tried to shoot a fire arrow at him and like jump in right behind it because I thought it'd be pretty cool. Um, but it actually did that loading screen and it didn't let me do anything. Now this elephant does not have as much armor. And so I think that makes him a lot easier uh, because you can get those shots off a little better. Uh, his strength, I guess, is how his archer will actually shoot at you. Um, and you'll see that in a minute here. But I didn't find that too difficult to avoid. Um, I didn't expect it, so I did make quite a few mistakes on it. But, I mean, if you are watching this video and you see that, you'll know to expect it. And it'll be pretty easy for you to avoid. So the technique is basically the same with this elephant. Just stay close. 
use the use the arrows when you get low on health or just if he's running away you can see here's the shooting i was talking about he's shooting at you just as that uh, ring starts to close that's when you want to dodge so right there you can see i was doing it correctly um but then it's a little bit off your dodges the timing so when he's you will just want to make sure you're paying attention to when his circle is closing in on you and not just spamming the dodge button so here's what i was talking about with the sword while like using it i can just cover that huge gap and he was running away from me but i was able to chase him down and stab him with the sword using that power attack and the smoke bombs are really easy to avoid so i wouldn't even worry about those too much just make sure you're always kind of moving right there um i can notice i'm getting low on arrows so i'm like wow well, i better be on the lookout and i'm also switching to the other bow because i don't want to be shooting him from far away and wasting all my arrows when i'm at full health but just in case i didn't pick any up but i found some i was switching because i was like oh i still need to do some damage and shoot him but i don't want to waste the last shots that i have if that can get me into the next tier of health or something later on so it's just thinking about it and being patient missed my sword power attack which really annoyed me but it allowed me to like take this time to like refill my arrows and just kind of run around you see my health was not regenerating there so I was just shooting him a couple times and trying to get that health back up but then I wasn't paying attention to what the archer was doing and he started hitting me which basically lost all the health that I was doing. Good news is I had more arrows I could just do it again. So. Here in the final moment you see he gets a little more aggressive just like the last elephant. But this time I was ready for it so it didn't throw me off as much. So do pay attention to their health bar. Alright, so here I was pretty surprised. Uh, I like that it gives you the ability points, but I did not expect to get the Shaman outfit at all. So I was really excited when I got that. Um, but then I looked at the picture and it didn't seem like something I wanted to wear. I went ahead and tried it on so you guys can see it and um, see how you like it. It's a little more red than it actually looks in that picture. You can see here it looks pretty red. Um, but I like the Isu armor better. And I'll show you how to get that armor and a couple of the other cool ones um, in some of my other videos. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope to be making quite a few more Assassin's Creed videos soon. And I hope you like this game because it's one of my favorites of the Assassin's Creed series. And Assassin's Creed is one of my favorite series. So... I hope that you guys enjoy it as well. And I hope that this video and the others I'm going to put out like this kind of help you enjoy the game more and not be frustrated by the new challenges that are part of this Assassin's Creed. And I hope it helps you just enjoy them to their fullest. So with that, um, I think I'll leave you and keep an eye out for a couple more videos. I will be doing uh, the last couple Philakatai and also the Anubis event boss. Um, I'm also going to be making that video about just like general tips and stuff that they don't really tell you. So 
Um, I think there's a lot there that is actually very helpful. And I think that the boss battles can also be helpful if you're struggling with them. So I'll see you next time.